Hello and welcome to today's video. In Honkai, Star Rail, Natasha is one of the two available healers, and her character build can only be topped by Beilu, the five-star Drivagon girl. Natasha is a four-star physical character of the Abundance Path and the best doctor in the underworld. When Natasha heals allies with her skill, they get an immediate boost of healing followed by a smaller boost at the start of the next two turns. This healing is increased if the ally's HP is below 30%. By combining this skill with her team healing ultimate, Natasha can keep her friends alive through the most challenging boss fights. Now, let's talk about the best light cones for Natasha. As of version 1.0, the only 5-star light cone avenue available for her kit is Time Waits for No One, Beilu's signature light cone. This light cone increases max HP by up to 30%, and outgoing healing by up to 20%. The light cone also keeps track of outgoing healing and deals extra DMG of the wearer's type to a random enemy when an ally attacks. This light cone is perfect for all healers, but it's particularly effective for Natasha because it increases her incredible healing and allows her to deal physical DMG. Post Opus Conversation is Natasha's best 4-star light cone in Honkai, Star Rail. The memory within shows Natasha talking to a patient after life-saving surgery. This light cone increases energy regeneration rate by up to 16% and the outgoing healing of her ultimate by up to 24%. This is actually a stronger boost than time waits for no one, but the trade-off is a limited trigger. If players lack both time waits for no one and post-opus conversation, and they have some money to spend on Honkai, Star Rail's Battle Pass, they can use Warmth Shorten's Cold Nights. This light cone actually provides a bigger max HP boost than time waits for no one and can heal all allies by up to 4% of their max HP whenever Natasha uses her skill or basic. Since Natasha's kit is centered around constant healing, Warmth Shorten's Cold Nights allows her to remain effective even when she does not have any skill points to spend, since she can heal through her basic attack. Moving on to relics and planetary ornaments, as a healer in Honkai, Star Rail, there is really only one relic set that makes any sense for Natasha's kit. Natasha is most effective with a four-piece passerby of Wandering Cloud relic set. This is the go-to set for healers, as it increases outgoing healing by 10% at two pieces. At four pieces, team comps with the wearer get an extra skill point at the start of combat. The four-piece perk is great all around, but the two-piece perk is perfect for Natasha. In the realm of planetary ornaments available in Honkai, Star Rail, Fleet of the Ageless is Natasha's best set. This planetary ornament increases the wearer's max HP by 12%, providing Natasha with a boost to her healing. The set can also boost ally attack but only if the wearer has 120 SPD or higher. Since Natasha's base SPD is 98, it is not worth investing in this secondary perk. Finally, when it comes to building Natasha, she only cares about two relic stats in Honkai, Star Rail, HP% percent, and Outgoing Healing. The body relic is the only relic that can have outgoing healing as a main stat, which makes it a top priority for Natasha. Everything else should have HP% percent as its main stat. 